Yo, you fellas, what's going on? Fred, yo, 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 welcome in the first. Fred the first. Going on, my man. Michael, Troy, Daniel, G, Stacks, Biv, and Robin. The first legends up in here. Welcome in. Let me get the... Um, I don't feel like changing the description, so we're going to listen to White Bat Studios again. Yeah. I need to change this a little bit. So I was switching Energy Shield Frozen Orb. But... Do I want to change the gear at all or just try rocking what I already had? I think maybe we'll stick... We'll try this out. I didn't really think this through at all, so... Oh, Troy, 25 months! That's more than a year! Away for a minute, but 25 months. New badge. Ooh, you got the sick badge now, Troy! You slayer! So sick. So sick. Let's just head out here. We'll just yellow it. I won't even switch any gear up or anything. See how it goes. See how it goes. Uh, Havoc, yo! It's going pretty good. Hopefully it's going good for you as well. Uh, I forget what difficulty this is. Is this on... Did I leave this on three? Is it on one? This is on one. Uh, Daniel Garcia, appreciate you. Been watching the YouTube videos, you say? Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy them. Uh, help you get back in the D2, nice. Good old Frozen Orb. So we'll, we'll do this one on one and then I'll go to, I'll see what three, three feels like in this area. It's kind of working fine, it's just, uh, Frozen Orb relative to like Frost Nova. Obviously Frost Nova, you don't have to be the right distance away or something like that to have it land perfectly or anything. But yeah, this will still work fine, obviously, either way, but. I just went and looked when I was starting this up. I'm like, wait a second. I've never done like a true Frozen Orb video before, like build video, kind of weird. Oh, back. Man, I'm all tired. I was doing mulch all morning. Scraping up the old mulch and getting rid of it and let, putting on the new mulch. So, like, the standard mulch bags from, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Whatever those size. They're, like, two cubic yards or something like that. Put 20 of them down. I probably, I think I need about four, probably four more. So, I have to go back and get a few more, but... Tempted to look into, I mean, the stuff from the store is so cheap, though. I don't know how to be any cheaper, but having a truck just come dump a bunch in the in the driveway, you know what I mean? Thinking about it, but. Ah. Oopsie. Messed that up good. <clears throat> yeah, Max is frozen orb good, but you just have to um, manage the distance. True story. Yeah, Max, uh, Max T. P1, it's not as huge of a deal. Like, even just if I'm just like face tanking them and I can blast, and it's kind of fine, sort of. Kind of took them out, I was seeing, anyways. We'll move up to three and just see the speed wise. I, I don't know which one I'm going to stick to, but. Uh, Philodox, yo. Uh, those are like 70 pounds a bag. Uh, the ones I was getting were definitely not 70. But uh, I don't know what weight they actually are, though. Oops. Uh, definitely not 70, though, because I slung one over each shoulder and was carrying them. I, I don't think I could just throw 140 pounds over my shoulder like that and walk. I would say they're probably like 40 pounds. But could be wrong. I'm not a weight expert. 220s. Oof. Yeah, Frozen Orb's a little uh, a little funky on having to get the right distance and stuff. But we're, we're rocking that today, switching it up a little bit. Difference always better, right? Science. U of M gear. Ooh, Snow Pro, what's going on? You better believe it. 
Uh, I always represent Michigan every time I reach in the closet and grab a random shirt and I grab a Michigan shirt. <laughs> every time I accidentally do. Smalps, Casey Killer, yo, 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 coming in with the yo's and the yo's. Welcome in, fellas. Troy says, does not miss mulching the garden. Yeah, our house, I haven't like heavily altered the landscaping since we bought it. And uh, almost, I would say 50% of the house around the outside is mulch. So, and then on every corner, it like bows out even further. Oh, semi-rare. I wish we got it. We got to make a, make Natalia's Mark uh, amazing build guide or something like that. Huge increase attack speed, ignore target defense, damage to demons. I think we could do it, fellas. Natalia's Mark build guide coming soon. What do you think? But it's a kind of rare one. I like it. The scissors swah, yeah. It's a rare base, so rare base to find, so. I got a bazillion of them at this point, but yeah. So yeah, like half my house is surrounded by this, so it takes like seven years. Well, it doesn't really take that long, but yeah, like I said, it takes 24-ish bags to do the whole house, do the all my flower beds or whatever, so. A little excessive, but. G-Sex had asked the tree mulching company if they could dump unwanted chips in my house. Uh, they said they had a yard of chips they could drop. Turned out it was over five yards. Nice. Oh, sorry. Uh, Figlet. Yo. Sup, Phil. Thank you so much. Oh, I didn't Twitch Prime sub. You got... Did I see a Grand Charm somewhere? I thought I'd just seen a Grand Charm like right here. I think there was a glitch. I think it teleported this Grand Charm up there or something, but... Figley, thanks so much for seven months of Jeff Bezos subscription. <clears throat> Appreciate this channel support, my man. What build is good for... Oh, what build is that good for? Blades, question mark? Um... Not really any great one that I'm aware of, to be honest, but I gotta... We gotta make it... We gotta figure it out, though. I'm gonna figure it out one day. Natalia's full set. Uh, S33 says he likes the frozen or fireball for early ladder farming. Yeah, I know a lot of people like to dual spec so they can, uh, you know, take out everything without a Sunder Charm or whatever. So I get you. But yeah, so five yards, you say. Um, I don't really know what the. I always forget how much that really means. <laughs> five yards. See, so I think if if I remember correctly, so you must have a lot less. I'm pretty sure there were two cubic yards, the bags that I had. That, that, that can't be right. Because a cubic yard is like a crazy ton of mulch. It couldn't have been. It wasn't two cubic feet, though. I don't know. Anyone know offhand? Oh, I didn't have the right weapon out. That could probably take a minute. Ooh. Those generic mulch bags from like Home Depot or like Lowe's or something. What size are those? It's, it can't be yards, because that would be... A cubic yard would be three feet by three feet. That, that's... Sounds like way too much. All this mulch talk. Of course. Of course we're talking about mulch. You know how old we are? This isn't like a Roblox stream or something. <laughs> And he says, about time for the orb swap. What do you, what do you mean by that? You thinking about trying it? Stem cells, he, he likes this uh, kind of build sort of for PVP. I mean, obviously not gear set up exactly like this, but orb energy shield. Gotcha. Okay. I probably should have energy shield on, huh? <laughs> I have, I dumped all points into, into mana over here. Wasn't using energy shield the whole time. Thanks a lot, chat. Did I even use battle orders? Okay, good. I did. Come on, guys. What are you doing to me? Don't even tell me that I'm not using energy shield the whole time. Nope. Mm, okay, that's a lot of... You have a bunch of idle characters, Olympic in hell, does it matter what, what where they're at? Um, so you're idling a bunch of characters to get higher players difficulty, huh? It, uh, it matters and it doesn't matter. 
like if you want players three and you take like two idle like other instances and just have them in the game anywhere you'll get the equivalent of like players three difficulty on single player aka uh players three with only the one person in the area the only the only way it really matters and their actual character level i don't believe matters at all in any way but if if there's two other people in the game and they're like in the same area you get a different percentage drop rate so um yeah i think i got lost there a little bit that started hardcore uniques only barb last night how could man i don't know you guys are crazy how could you do uniques only eight so that's like aka you're never using any gear it's a naked barbarian playthrough in other words <laughs> crazy G stack says they're measured in inches slash feet. I mean, I'm gonna Google machine these because I gotta figure this out. There's nothing more important to me now than figure out what size mulch bags I have that I just went and got. Oh, they are cubic feet. That doesn't sound very big at all. Two cubic feet. Well, anyways. Ill Will, welcome in over on Twitch there. Oop, where am I going? Lost, lost track. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rep this on P1 though. That's just, that's why the way I feel like using this here. So, just. Hmm. those kind of took seven years to die for some reason. Got the death fathom out. There he is. <clears throat> Let's see, Troy said he got uh, three Shakos and a Griffin's Eye and Terrazone Andy. Nice. Nice. 70 blue sorceress looking for a four socketed polar armor should you farm. The cancer like or, or the the cancer. The answer is always gonna be kinda like cows essentially. I generally don't farm cows though because uh, I just don't like it. I always end up getting my pole arm from just farming anywhere else essentially. I'll get a one down here or running the pits or wherever. I recommend just going wherever you like to farm the most. But technically, like, zero magic fine cows is, like, what you want to do. Yeah, fellas, make sure you guys hit that like button for me on, over on YouTube. Good call on that one, Brad. Good call on that one. You know what I haven't done in a while? And that's, this is why I ain't getting them likes. We gotta go... Like that. That's what we gotta do. Make sure you hit that like button for me, fellas, on, on the Uber Tuber. Close that. Get moving here a little bit. Oh, good shot, Phil. Spanglish, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back at it. Back at it. Hey, what's going on? It's the Olympic, but it does increase MF and uh, XP anyways, right? Um, so you're talking about having more people in the game. Um, so it doesn't increase your magic find. It, it increases the... It decreases the no drop chance or increases the chance that item drops. Um, but yeah. Um, and yeah, XP too as well. Yes. Yep. Crossbow. Ooh.
Snowcrow said he's actually never found a Shaco, but farms Mephisto all the time, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, just bad luck, I guess, huh? Just bad luck. I've had that same bad luck. I, I believe we've all been there at some point, but... You'll get one one day. You'll get one one day. Will you? Oh, he's immune to cold. That would be why he wasn't dying there. Will you just kill him? Sin bang. Okay. Instantly regretted waiting for him to take him out. Go beast mode, says Jarski. Ooh, that's all I know how to do. Ooh, what am I doing here? Not, not, not looking at the screen randomly shooting. <laughs> do they still update this game? Now it, it looks like they're probably pretty well concentrated on D4 at this point, huh? Pretty much uh, concentrated on D4 uh, mid-reel. Thank goodness they finally stopped updating it. We, we don't really need any more mosaic assassins in this friggin' thing, huh? More uh, broken builds and hurting the game more and more and more as they add more stuff. Uh, here's Johnny. Yo! Happy hump day! Welcome in. thinking yeah we'll just, we'll just rack this out today it's kind of feeling a little funky for, for whatever reason I know I don't uh, really the only thing stuff I don't have on is stuff to make me like quote unquote more survivable but I mean I only have 16 poison res and like no damage reduced stuff but it's not even that just the damage output on frozen orb is just like so insignificant compared to even other stuff I can see Frozen Orb being better Andy Meph, or, uh, yeah, Andy Meph, maybe. But really, Frost Nova feels better for doing, like, this type of thing than Frozen Orb. Let's see, I got all these skillers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skills, skills plus damage, minus damage. Making sure I got skills, 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 skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do I poison? I need some, uh... That boot. The one with all the poison res on it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Killa! Does hey Phil hope everything's... Good. Oh, there was a big gap. I thought it was a, 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 a next comment there. It's like, you hope everything's... Yeah, doing pretty good. Uh, the link, link at the bottom of the description to this guy, um... White, white bat music? White bat audio? Good old Vamp Races Soul Drainers, huh? From Dual Leech Gloves, huh? Alright, alright. If we can get... Oh! 250! But not enough. Uh, just three, like, things on there. We gotta get a sick ogre item. Who we need?
Let's see, uh, Contagious Marijuana says, Frozen Orb looks cool. Uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Hmm. Yeah, I know I uh, have a guy. I do know that it does more damage when it hits uh, directly, like, on top of the target or whatever. But it's kind of... That's kind of what I was saying, why it's probably better off. It's for, like, Andaro, Mephisto, because you have one target, right? But when you have ten things, it's hard to hit them exactly. You know what I mean? Like, when you have this pack here, you, you obviously can't hit them all right on the top, so you have to shoot a bunch of them to take them out, you know? Could be a little i think maybe it's a little deceiving also it just maybe it appears slower than it is um so what you're saying is it's a skill issue what you're saying is is that a fathom yeah i got i got death's fathom on for a bunch of plus cold damage i got minus 150 on my um, cold mastery is minus 150, and most cold, most monsters that aren't immune to cold, they don't, you know, they don't have like 195 cold res. Like 150 usually takes a lot of them all the way down to negative 100, right? So I don't know. I haven't looked up every monster type or whatever, but. Maybe with, in, with Insight, I could have not put as many into Warmth, and I could have put more into Cold Mastery just to make sure, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, he's almost there. Come on. Got him. JB says, wishes there was an Aura Rune word. Um... Yeah, I'm always leery on uh, having them change or add anything with how disastrous like Mosaic was and a few other things. Sundry Charms and stuff. But, uh... Yeah. A purpose for orbs of magic or of socketed would be cool. Like a purpose for them, I guess, but... Yeah. Personal favorite Sork setup substance. So it is energy like uh Nova is probably my favorite, so Mr. Gray Sacred Targe, all oh, rats, Jiminy Crickets. I'll get the next one. Scout's honor. Scout's honor. Wait, is that Girl Scouts? I don't know. No, I do know that is the Girl Scouts one, not the not the Boy Scouts. It's funny, right? Oh, uh, didn't have any shield up again. James said you go into blizzard with orb or blizzard it. Yeah. It's... IP with chat's fault. Jordan, thank you for the six months. Ooh. Six months of Slayership. IT chat's fault. It's always chat's fault, right? Always chat's fault. Yeah, I've I've done I I don't know if I did a video on it, but I know I've I've played the Blizzard Orb before. But I haven't played Blizzard in so long now, actually. Like, I played Blizzard. Obviously, everyone who played for a long time played Blizzard a ton back in the day. And now it's actually kind of been a while since I've played Blizzard. Because, <laughs> you know, that was what everyone always played all the time, right? Bill's a Girl Scout. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Mark says, first solo self on Burr. Nice. Fred's hammering the emotes. Love to see it. Ooh. Oops. I did not hit the right button. Randomly teleporting around. Crown shoot. It could be 45 res. Next time, maybe. Did you travel to see the eclipse? No, 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 no. Nope. Where I was at in Michigan, it was almost 99%, so. Hello. Substance had never legit farmed an SOJ in 25 years. Hmm. Quite a while. Never even did the Nightmare Andy trick, huh? It is actually, even though it's kind of, you can find it at low, low levels, it's definitely super rare, so. See, he, uh, Johnny says, following your Hydra Orb build, starting Nightmare today. Nice. Yeah, that is a pretty popular one. It's not one that I usually play a ton, but it's super. Oh, yeah, probably want to do Energy Shield again. I wasn't using Energy Shield on the other builds, so now I keep forgetting about it. It's a very popular one, uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy that. How do you make your map not change visibility? Not change visibility. Not change slash visible. Oh, this is uh this is offline single player, Dark. Uh Dark Patron. This is offline single player. This isn't online. I had to figure out what you were trying to ask there for a second, sorry. That's just how single player is. Can you tell us what you didn't like about fire traps in? Um, it just, I, I don't like traps in general. And uh, like lightning traps are just astronomically better than fire traps. And I don't even really like lightning traps that much. So like fire traps, they just aren't, it's just not that good. And I don't like playing it. I mean, it's not terrible. It kills stuff for sure. Uh, you know. Just, just don't like it. Fred says Enigma OP. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. For sure. Hmm. Blast, blast, blast. Blast, blast, blast. Ah, where's my life going? Got to check if it's mo mosaic base. Is it going to be? Dragon tail, claws of thunder. What's the what's the main attacks you use on mosaic? Just out of curiosity. Those are just one, two. I got to get a perfect spell. What 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 uh, what 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 stuff do you usually use on mosaic? I don't even play. It. What's the ones that make you go blind? What are, what's the skill? Phoenix strikes the main. Good to know. Maybe one day I'll try it, try it out. Dear, welcome in, yo yo yo. There's just so much variety for cold sorceresses. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few that, that do work uh, at least a little bit. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, Stony Tombs Players 1 or, you know, nothing crazy, but. Oh, I keep forgetting to do energy shield and I didn't battle order either. It's all chat's fault.
Hmm. I'll be honest, the more I think about it, I don't even know that it's really much faster. Oh, this is on Players 3. I, was, I thought this was on Players 1. I was like, wait a second. When I was doing Players 3 a minute ago, it felt like the same speed. Maybe there's just something with, uh, the, you know, because the, uh, the delay on orbs what makes it feel slow or whatever. But then I just realized it's still on Players 3, so. And I had my Cult of Arms out. That could have been part of the problem, too. So many skill issues going on. Uh oh 30 Maras! Uh, two light radius! We'll get them next time. Oh, I forgot. I need to start remembers. I'm gonna take a drink every run. I gotta stay hydrated. Favorite cold build. Ah, oh, Joe boy. I don't know. Not sure. You know what I might do though? I might switch this. Um, I might switch this build up. Because you can definitely rock, and you know the survivability here is like unlimited. But Sony Tombs is such an easy area. I feel like I don't even need to pay attention to survivability. It's off core also, so who, who really cares, right? Because I do know that, like, let's see, I could just do Blizzard. This is a Blizzard build. I really haven't played Blizzard in so long because I keep telling myself I always play Blizzard and then now it's been three years since I played Blizzard, you know, so. I don't know, maybe I'll just rock Blizzard. For whatever reason, I'm, you know, for, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm not really enjoying this one as much as I was hoping. Smoobla, welcome in, yo-yo. Gotta see your cold, uh, James says, I gotta see his cold variant of Mosaic. I don't have to. Don't have to. <laughs> Michael just got to shoot us, congrats, congrats. Drinking moonshine today? No, Jordan. No, 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 no. High quality H2O. Ah, change my mind again. I'm gonna stick with this. Oop, keep hitting the wall apparently. Change my mind again. Not Gatorade, no. Gatorade stinks. Greetings from Germany, Philip. Yo, welcome in German, Philip. Uh, retired tech. Yo, welcome in. You're rocking a zealot. Hopefully you enjoy. I'm sure you do. Yeah, I don't I don't really do a lot of zealing because uh yeah, it just doesn't have enough area of effect for my liking. Not too not too bad though. Depends how you how you put it together too. Um why single player is infinite respec? Um why is it? That's just how it is. Um I'm not sure. Um, uh, maybe there was a translation issue there with the question, but yeah, that's just kind of how on offline single player you can just put in a command line argument and, or whatever you call it, and you just got unlimited respects. So, Classic Phil Mind Changer, yeah. Flip flopping left and right. Right, Kermit? Flip flopping everywhere. Substance, it has electrolytes. Yeah. It's good for the plants. 
right? Philodox says it's not unlimited, it only gives you like four? Uh, if you're talking offline respects, I mean, you can respec as many times as you want to. <clears throat> I definitely respec probably at least five or six times before I went live today because I kept clicking the wrong button. <laughs> when I was putting in the stats, I kept forgetting when you'd get to the strength requirement for my Enigma, it would just explode, the strength shoots up. So I just like bam, 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 spam the points. And I kept jumping like over what I needed to for the spirit and then pumping in like another 30 points because I was just hitting the button so fast. And then I literally re respect and then did the same thing again. And then I respect and did the exact same thing again for a third time in a row. <laughs> and then I was thinking about the points I respect again. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> why don't i respec because i could try it and then just respec back well i've played um i mean i could do that or i could just just not do it you know what i mean i mean i don't know i just I, i'm not respecting to try that other one because i don't want to <laughs> just that's that's what it is if i wanted to i would not but i don't want to so i'm not going to yep that's that's it Hammerin or Tornado Druid tankier in players eight games. Uh uh Tornado Druid or a Hammerden? I mean Hammerden is like crazy insane Let's god tier. Go. Wind Druid's good, but I mean it's no Hammerden, that's for sure. Oh, Wicked Plumber coming with 10 gifted Slayer ships. Thank you so much for supporting the channel Let's with those. Go. What? What? Okay, well, not 10. I was mistaken. I spoke too soon. Wicked Plumber with 30 gifted memberships on YouTube. Bro. Once again, as always, I can't thank you enough for supporting the channel. You absolute Wicked Slayer. Thank you so much, Wicked Plumber. Absolute legendary beast. Sorry, if anyone did have a comment, feel free to put it in. Uh, I'm not going to scroll back up to find it there on YouTube, but... Make sure if you did uh, get gifted a membership, you do have access to the new personalized emotes. Make sure you hammer a uh, Wicked Plumber emote and uh, thank him for gifting a membership to you. Also a good time to shout out, I guess. We do have a uh, members only Discord channel. Free, link in the description, and then you can link up your YouTube channel membership to it if you would like. It's all free, by the way. Pipe, 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 pipe. Tomas is accurate there. The wickedest of plumbers come in. Like a boss. Huh. Philodox said when he put the command line in for unlimited respects, it only worked for a few times and then it stopped. Interesting. Yeah, I can't imagine why that would be. But uh, yeah, mine's worked for the last two and a half years or whatever since the game came out. So I've never had an issue. Where are we at here? Where are we at? Lego Master says, thanks, Wicked Plumber. Even though he didn't get gifted one, thanks for supporting the channel. What a legend. Yeah, yeah, true story. Couldn't have said it better myself, Lego Master. We we have the best emotes on this channel, really do. The Tiny Cat Doom Scooter, the Wicked Plumber, the Legend, the Hype 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 Hype. 
the couple of ones of my dumb face making dumb faces. So great. What am I hunting for? Sick stuff. Ultimately, I would, uh, Hacho, I would like to find a Tyrell's Might, so. You can find it in here for sure. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd like to find ultimately, but really anything cool. Only 12 likes, we gotta have more than that. I'm guessing you gotta up, up, update your uh, stream or whatever. Like refresh it and it'll tell you yeah, there's more likes. But yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. We'll shout that out for sure. How do you do, Siri? I didn't even look if there's anything dropped over here. Welcome in. Doing pretty all right. Hope you're doing awesome as well. <clears throat> Nefrune. Nefrune. We have said miss the wickedest of plumbers. Just missed him, huh? I mean, he's probably still in here lurking, I'm sure. He's kind of a watch and listen and lurk kind of guy, I believe. Chuck Canada said he sees 101. Sounds about right. Hacho says a thousand runs, didn't get a diadem. Yeah, it definitely happens. Griffins can be a tough one to find. That Cheryl's Might is going to show up for you soon, says Justin C. Yeah, hopefully. Eh, we'll go hit hit the uh, ancient tunnels here one time, huh? We'll see. We'll see. Do I think they should get rid of synergies? <laughs> uh, n I mean, no. I don't want them to do anything. I'm. I don't want them to do more things. The more things they do, is the more way they could take a game that is I think is amazing, and make it even worse and make it worse. So, it's funny how. Whenever somebody like puts out a video or like there's a post on like Facebook or something that I see, then that the very next day or that day, like a bunch of people come in and ask whatever question or ask about whatever was in the video or whatever, like the exact same thing. This is kind of funny. I seen that. Uh, I seen that. There was a post that was getting traction on uh, Facebook. That's why I say that. Maybe it's coincidence. Maybe it's coincidence. Balrog blade. Could be good. Could not be good as well. It's more not good than good. You're the D2 guy, bro. Yeah. It's probably just my own, uh, what do you call it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Like people ask other questions too, but I, I only notice I only noticed when I just when I just read something about the post and then like three people in the first 45 minutes asked me the same question kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably it's probably just my own bias or whatever or what do you call it when uh you know when you when you don't notice something until you notice it and then you notice it everywhere. Kind of thing you know what i'm saying that's probably that's probably what it is five sockets holy shot um i don't what's the what's the what's the war scepter that needs to uh need to have on it to isn't there like blessed or uh fist of the heavens or something with like conviction or something nostalgic says that's good See, I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't throw it out, but I wasn't. Uh, that's one, that particular type of item I'm so unknowledgeable on. Because I feel like it's only a PvP item, and I don't PvP, so I don't really know much about it. <laughs> is it actually good? What do we got? Well, we got to vote on this. Am I am I missing? Is this good or is this not good? Wait, the shock is interesting. Okay. <laughs> Havoc says I wouldn't talking about not wanting change not even currency tab and stacking I mean I guess I'd be fine with those but I mean you sure they wouldn't mess that up if they did it dream question mark can you do see maybe I'm not smart enough here
go this. Why am I on this side? You're supposed to be over here. You're in the way as well. Where is Dream at? Oh, Dream is only three, and it's Shield Helm, so go along with the Dream. What, uh, what, what would you even put in it? Uh, because... Call times? Obedience in it? Gotta be something with skills. Where is what I'm looking for? Eternity. Not that. His call to arms, you get those other things. So if you were, it was like some holy shock thing. Five, just straight up five facets. Just a straight up lightning damage Foden. Hmm, okay, well. Interesting. Um, what just happened here? Oh, George, thank you for the Slayer ship. Um, yeah, it's nothing I would ever use on single player for sure. So I can't really, I don't really have a use for it, but. Infinity? <laughs> Infinity War Scepter? Legendary. Oh. Boy, I gotta, I gotta straighten up this, in, this inventory. It's getting, getting gross. I gotta cube these up one day. One of these days here, soon, I gotta cube these up. I gotta, I gotta take care of that. Uh, yes, all rune words available on single player. Who goes Tony Tomb skin? I'm pulling like I have a ton of pulls. Yeah, there's uh, there's a billion of them. A couple of years of uh, farming, you end up with a bunch of runes, a bunch of mid runes everywhere. <clears throat> Whole bunch of them. That looks organized. Uh, not the most organized. I'm gonna, one day here, I would say future Phil will worry about that. It might even be today. Maybe I'll take some time tonight. Uh, there's some paperwork I gotta take care of and stuff around here. Just some stuff that'll really take me. Even that whole stash, getting it to the mules and the paperwork I gotta do is probably like a half hour max. I just need to take the time to do it. I usually, like today I'm gonna stream until I gotta go make dinner pretty much. So maybe after dinner, I'll try to find some time. You know, I took the time to do mulch earlier today. You guys know how it is. Being an old man, working all the time. Not that I work all the time. But you get what I am saying. There's always work to do. I definitely don't work all the time, but... Imagine if I just went ahead and did all the work so there wasn't any work to do. You think that's how it works? Uh, retired tech says you could use honor only one skill though. Yeah, I feel like I'd seen in a, I could be wrong that I had seen some war scepter with um, CTA in it That was like a valuable based upon the skills it had in it. But I don't remember exactly what it needed or whatever If it was just strictly like a pre buff So you'd battle order and then like have like a higher level Holy shield or something like that. I'm not I'm not 100 sure my brain's Not saving all the information apparently Faux skills on it. Yeah, I feel like there was faux skills on it too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah with faux skills. Okay <clears throat> Yeah, cuz then with the three to foe and One to all skills you're getting four, four to foe right there and everything else already on it.
Light plate boots, legendary. Let's go. Mark making, welcome in. Future Phil's always being overworked. Yeah, he's, he gets left with everything. Modern time Phil leaves future Phil with all the work. For sure. Patrick uh, Bovin, hump day grind. Yeah, yeah. Hump day. Havoc says, yeah, CTA and a War Scepter can be good. Hammers, Concentration, or Foe, Holy Bolt. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll try to remember that. That sounds that sounds about right from what I... Coming back to me when people, people say things, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I think I remember. Yeah, so, appreciate you. Thomas Vu stuck at Hell Trav with your Fireball Sorceress. How do you get past Immunes? Uh, well, I would generally not ever do a, a full playthrough with a fireball sorceress. Um, or let's see, is every single Trav member immune to fire? Let's see. I think they are, aren't they? I think they're. I think the thing is, is I usually play through with like Blizzard, and I think the one Trav member that you need to kill um, isn't immune to cold. I think all of them are, except for the one you need to kill. So I think that's what one of the reasons cold works there. Um, but yeah, if you pretty much got to count on your mercenary if you're strict go going strictly fireball playthrough, so you pretty much have to lure one, uh, one one of the council members away by itself, and then let your mercenary take it out, and then like go back to town, and get a bazillion potions again, and kind of do it all over again. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Vincent says, play through throw barb. Just found a shaft stop off a of nightmare Mephisto. Ooh, that's a, that's a sick one right there. Oh, probably want to use my energy shield if I'm going to go ahead and have energy shield on. Never like going max energy and then not using energy shield, huh? Is there a maintenance? Uh, Sam, and uh, not that I'm aware of, but I, I don't know. I'm playing offline single player, so. <laughs> First time try to Uber, meaning Ubers with a smiter, what level should you be? Uh, I mean, you don't have to be crazy high. I mean, you can do it with super budget stuff too, but for most people, if you have average smiter gear, I mean, you might as well be like 85 at least. You could definitely do it lower as well, so. But I mean, that's what I would, I guess, recommend, huh? Uh, Joseph, Joseph says, uh... 885 yeah that's that's not a bad a bad number yeah for sure Got to check the oh oh an ethereal one. Oh man, if that rolled cruel quickness, be insane.
dried plantains. What are we? Th what are you talking about over here? We're talking about we got tots. Looks like we're talking about a bunch of fries and potato talk around here, huh? Okay, all right. I can get on board with that. American fries, okay. <clears throat> any, any, anything potato is usually pretty darn good. Fried plantains, huh? That's probably good. I've never had it before, but. James said he got queued on login. Um, yeah, I don't know. There, there might be some something going on today. I, I didn't even check online, like literally at all. I just hopped right, hopped right in, and started playing offline here. So, potato is god. Could be. There's no way to prove that it's not. So, shift shifty spline. Yeah, there's no way to prove it's not. So, could be right. Who am I to tell you you're wrong? Uh, is F magic pole arm what's needed to watch enhanced damage? Um, uh, no, I, I just identify anything ogre just as kind of like a channel, a, a running channel joke. So, <laughs> Robin says freedom prize. Yeah. Ooh. Freedom. Lego Master says server's going down in five minutes. Interesting. Maybe they're updating D2R. <laughs> Back to the Stony Tombs. the meal there schmoobla um yeah every once in a while i've been like dabbling around just trying different things that i never had before i can't uh eating strictly vegan stuff like that very 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 tough i find but uh but yeah i did have uh i got some more uh tofu the other day seasoned, seasoned it up it was better than the first time It was better than the first time I tried tofu. Seasoned it a little better, I guess. Fred, yo! All right! Fredman donated $2 through Super Chat. Sweet Phil Cole Chat Fries versus Tusk, please. Fred, the man, coming at $2. Thank you so much. You're legend. Am I in a ladder game? No, 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 no. Wagner, this is off offline single player. Yep. Offline single player. Uh, let's see, American fries are, th are those a bit like hash browns? Um, American fries are just, um, how do you explain American fries? They're just, they're just like potato chunks in the morning. <laughs> kind of, I guess. Ogre. Boy, this song's a bit on the squirrely side, huh? I don't know about this one. We've come too far now, we can't really back out, but. That song was a bit on the squirrely side. It's all right, though. That's all right. Almost didn't see that jewel. Thanks a lot, chat. Don't know what hash browns are. That's okay. No, that's right. We feel. Are you vegan? No, you can actually eat uh, tofu and not be vegan. It's a good start, says Shmoobla. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not going vegan. That's for sure. That's for sure. But nothing wrong with broadening your horizons.
American fries are freedom fries, aren't they? Uh, I mean, I guess I thought freedom fries is just kind of a joke. <laughs> like, freedom fries. Now, I think freedom fries are when you take french fries and you add bacon and you add cheese and then you add more cheese. And then you go ahead and you just add some lard on top. And then you go ahead and add some sriracha. And then you go ahead and put some chicken fingers on top of it. And then you go ahead and add some, uh, uh, cheese sticks. And there you have fully, then you put some chili on top and then you got full, full blown freedom. Gravy. Yeah, you got some gravy also. Energy shields. Uh, yeah, I, I have energy shield slave, but uh, I'm such a baller. I don't even use it half the time. <laughs> yeah, no, I literally can't remember. So it's just going to happen. This is worse than uh, worse than holy shield, huh? Fellas, fellas, fellas. So does anyone know if we can play D2 or we get disconnected? I, I have no idea what's going on. No idea. Works fine for me. Offline single player, so. No baked beans now. I mean, you can go ahead and throw some baked beans on your freedom fries. It's all up to whatever your freedom wants. Pathless says, can't, can't live in Michigan to be a vegan. Sure you can. Nothing wrong with someone who, who wants to be vegan. You can do it anywhere. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but... Uh, oh, offline is freedom, right? Offline really is freedom. You go ahead and play with any mods you want. You can go ahead and infinitely free respec as much as you want as well. You can use hero editor if you want to. Large charm, no! So he's an, an unfortunate ingredient. I mean, an unfortunate ingredient, huh? Unfortunate. It's an odd way to word that. It sounds a little overboard. <laughs> but exaggerated. What's happening with your accent? Oh, that's how I normally talk. This is. What, I, what I'm talking right now is like my uh, my YouTube voice, just so that people don't like judge me based upon my real life accent. So uh, this is just uh, Maggie Butt. This is just players three. Your production console offline is only 50% freedom. I mean, that's kind of, yeah. Can't do all the good stuff, huh? Do I consume other D2 content? Um, Not very much anymore, I'm going to be honest. Uh, every once in a while, I'll hop into somebody's stream. Um, but as for like videos, I probably watch like two or three Diablo two videos a week, like nowadays, cause like, I don't know how many hours a day can you like be D two in around, you know what I mean? If you're like five hours of like playing and making videos, uh, I mean, 
maybe some people would be you know they want to they you know 12 hours of uh of d2 or something but five six seven hours of d2 in a day it's you know that's about about where i'm at <laughs> you know about where we're at where i'm gonna be oh little barbed combat with some max damage on it too huh nice barbed combat is that the good one right better than pal defensive skills for the paladin about five percent better Phil is the D2 hours. I mean, I sk there you go. Good point. <laughs> Gosh. Rune Skepter. Uh, yeah, Fear, I, I got what you meant before about 50% freedom on console, yeah. You can't do the unlimited respects and the mods and stuff like that, yeah. I, got, I, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Pathless. True story. I do hop into Kermit's once in a while when he's playing. Yeah, Stony Tombs. That's where we'll go. There we go, Jeezy. I got the energy shield up. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? Fred, is there uh is there some reason that you're anti so soy or soy? 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 Is that like uh is there like a thing you heard or something about why that is? I I don't know what it is. That's just why I'm asking. Jeezy is proud of me. Like it lowers testosterone or something you had heard or something like that is what I'm guessing maybe. I'm just trying to speculate here. I can't I can't think of what it was. I can't remember anything. Not trying to start a debate. I was just asking because I was just genuinely curious what the uh, you know rationale is or whatever. Oopsie. You see the eclipse? I did, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I was streaming that day, and I uh, I got off a little bit before. And it was kind of like uh, I was streaming, and I was like, maybe I'll stream up to the eclipse. I don't know. Maybe if everyone's, if a ton of people are staying here, you know. But then as soon as the eclipse, like, started, like, happening, like, at least 50% of the stream left within about 10 minutes. And I was like, oh, okay, well, if everyone's just going to leave, which is fine. I was thinking about getting off and to check out the eclipse anyway, so... But yeah, I did. I did see it. It was like it was like ninety eight and a half percent in Michigan where I'm at. So, which it, it's kind of crazy how bright the sun still is when it's ninety eight and a half percent covered. Pretty crazy how bright it still is. Like it was so bright. Like if you hype it, if you did try to look at it, I'm not saying I did. But I was like, it's ninety eight and a half percent. Like. You couldn't, you couldn't look straight at it. Like, you know, when you're, you, if you ever do look up and the sun's there, you know, you're like, oh yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't even look at it with it, with it at that. Like it would, it's not even possible. So I had the, I had the good old glasses though. So whatever, you know, you can see a little bit. K 
character level matter when re-rolling grand charms? Um, when re-rolling grand charms, character level. Um, no. I had to scour my brain for that one. No, that shouldn't matter. It's just the, the level of the charm is what rolls, or what matters. Combat barb skills, glass half full. Yeah, there you go. The skiller, at least, right? Oh, where are we? Uh, let's see. Frozen Orb looked better than Blizzard. Uh, I don't think so. You gotta remember, this is just players three difficulty right here. Like maybe you were thinking it was like players eight or something. Thinking about just hopping it down to players one because really the main thing I want to find is uniques anyways, which you can only get here from here. I can only get Cheryl's Might from the champions anyways. So it's kind of like not a whole lot of purpose to run on higher players counts, especially in my position, even more so than Probably want to put on Holy Shield, huh? Let me go ahead and... Did I put this down yet? I thought I... I don't remember if I had put it down or not, but now it is. How many people got raptured? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't ask anybody. <clears throat> Trying to read chat there. Didn't see it at first, but we got another little lem boys. Ooh. Everyone's always happy to find a mid rune, right? Everybody. Uh, so yeah, I was, I was asking Fred about it. He says he doesn't do well with soy. Gotcha, yeah. Definitely. Speaking of things. I think I've been slowly poisoning myself over the last like two years. I think I found out I can't eat broccoli. Might be I think I might be allergic to it or something. So sweet Phil's been just poisoning himself. Good job, Phil. Miles Montgomery, welcome in. Charles is eating beef that was fed cocaine is bad for you. I don't know that I've ever seen a scientific study that said that. So, I mean, I, I don't think we can prove that to be true, Jordan. So. Put this back to the pile. Oh, them lem runes. Definitely got to get those. <clears throat> what makes me think that? Um, I'm not going to go into huge detail, but I have. It's not great for me. <laughs> no, no details added. Okay, shifty. But yes, I I do like it. But when I don't eat it, I feel better. We'll just say that. Zombie Carmen, what is going on? I'm having a good day. Hopefully you are as well. Oh, Grimal, let's do it. <laughs> oh, 
Upsie. Come on, 40-15, one of these days. I gotta find one eventually, right? I mean, for a 15 increased attack jewel, it's a little bit better. Baby cold res. Shifty, I guess that is true. I guess that's true. Gotta look at the bright sides. Life. <clears throat> Vincent, welcome in. Cronin. Yo, yo, yo. What am I doing eating broccoli to, to begin with? I mean, it's good. Like, I, I mean, I don't just like grab a, a thing, a thing of broccoli and just like oh, eat it like a, I don't even know, an apple or something, but like broccoli and foods. I mean, come on. What are we five? We don't, don't eat a, never touch a vegetable. Come on. Come on, Miles. Stem first. There you go. Exactly. Only eat the stem. I cut the top part off of the broccoli. Just only eat the stem. Casey says cover, yeah, broccoli, cover melted cheese. Uh, yeah, I was never as big of a fan of that kind of stuff, but... We don't need to worry about it now because I'm not eating it ever again, so... Didn't have to bring up steak preferences today. Got everyone rolling in the soy. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Boy, I played you guys like a fiddle. Woo! Get that chat interaction way up today. Let's go. That's it. every day from now on. I'm, I'm bringing up soy. I'm bringing up tofu and well done steaks. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh man, the YouTube algorithm is going to be way on my side here. Let's go. <laughs> Not the stakes, no. Rune Skeptor. Um, isn't it, let's see, Hand of Just, Hand of Light, Hand of Zachary's Hand. I knew it was something hand. I knew it was something hand. <laughs> Blizzard on striking. Okay. <laughs> you must negatively comment, right? Schlong lore. Interesting name. Okay, all right. How many times can you reset skills non ladder? I mean, you have the den of each den of evil quest, and then after that, you gotta farm tokens. So that, that's how you do that if you're online, non ladder. Jeezy said he's a big fan of ketchup on his well done filet mignon. I mean, that sounds pretty good, I think. It's on page 35 of the D2 game guide. Oh yeah, I'll have to check that out one day. I actually got rid of my, this was an epic fail. About, probably six months before I started my YouTube channel, I looked at Diablo 2 and I went, you know what? I'm never gonna need the strategy guide and I got rid of it. Thinking about looking up on uh, eBay for a strategy guide or something, but. What is this well done steak you speed of, speak of? It's a steak cooked the correct ways. Well done. <laughs> oh, everyone gets so mad about steak doneness. Crazy. Oh, man. I feel like it's the most comical, too, because, uh, you know, you can't really get that offended. You know, it's not like 
you bring up like something some political like and then you know everyone gets mad and loses their minds but like i feel like you can people get real mad about it but they don't really get too mad about it it's it's ridiculous enough that i can just laugh about it <laughs> not worry uh And he says, Tok Token's about an ist on, uh, online, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what they generally kind of always are. Just, it takes enough effort to get all of them. Is D2R online down? Um, some people are saying something. Oh my goodness. Fellas. Yeah, let's just get right out of here. I didn't even know Terra's Andy was coming. Didn't even know it was coming. Richie said fork and knife and hand salting cows. Yeah, you uh, you real men like your steaks rare. I know. <laughs> there is a little bit of a correlation here, I will be honest. <clears throat> Usually a lot of times, depending on how you were raised or grew up, can kind of affect what, how you like your meat cooked, I'm going to be honest. If you are... Um, if you grow up poor buying a lot of like on sale meats at the grocery store for real cheap then uh you know maybe you might want your meat well done more so that you don't like die of dysentery thunder charm oh 73 no good um i'm probably never gonna use that uh, da, 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 da. i don't know maybe i'll hang on to it Brian, yo! Welcome in. So, Terrorize Andy. So, we got Lucky. We got this popping up here. Didn't even know it was on its way. But we got her. That's no good. One essence and like nothing else. Uh, I think my 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 magic find was around three hundred, I believe. So, is it? Yeah, three oh six. Hey, you need to stay at the right distance, lady. Matt Jeffs. Do it. No. <laughs> G stacks. Oh, great. Phil talking about well done steaks again. You mean the best way to cook a steak, right? G stacks. D4 bad. There's, the, yeah, there's another good topic, right? D4 bad. Worst game ever made. Diablo 4 makes uh, the ET game for Atari look like Diablo 2. Another great one. <laughs> is Andy terrorized for non-ladder characters too? I mean, this is offline single player, so it's probably not going to be terrorized online at the same time. That would be a, a, quite a coincidence if it was. Possible, but... Will you go after my mercenary, bro? What do you mean by that, Brian? Like I yell at everybody when I'm playing D4? <laughs> yeah, it's just everyone's in insufferable. Like, uh, like when when I play D4 and people get to like whining and complaining about, about a bunch, just like the worst of people come out, you know? Like people that usually aren't really super annoying just get super annoying and whiny. It's complaining about everything non-stop, you know? It's like being around children. It's like being around my kids. <laughs> They're just fighting and complaining the whole time.
<clears throat> Ivan said he thinks D2 looks better than D4. Um, the thing is, is that D2 is zoomed out a lot further, so you don't see anyways that it doesn't look as good. But D2R, I think, does look good, and it's a darker aesthetic too, so. Um, I do kind of like the aesthetic better in D2R, so. I guess that could all pile into looking better as an opinion, so I guess you could say that. Did you go to BlizzCon? Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, I can't. I couldn't do that if I wanted to. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I could, but, uh paying thousands of dollars to fly out to like California or something to go to it and uh you know <laughs> I gotta <clears throat> take my kid to school and stuff like that so can't really Yeah, Brian, yeah, I get you think it was, uh, it was funny or whatever, yeah. Just from my perspective, it was more annoying, right? But, uh, oh! Homunculus 173, I mean, that could be the hugest different deal anyways. So if you don't want to go the spirit, you want to go something different on your necromancer, Homunculus is a cool one. It's been good forever. For sure. Oscar, welcome in! Frozen orb damage. Um, let's see, I, I got better of those. Let me double check around here. Uh, 11 to 1200, I guess. We have says dust devils at D4 equals mosaic sin. Um, not as bad as mosaic, but I do get the analogy. That has something they, they have to do something about that. Because, yeah, literally, if you have the perfect gear, your entire screen is completely blanked out. 100%. 100%. Like, completely blocked out by it. You can't really, you can't have that. <laughs> like, oh, SOJ unidentified. And it will be identified as an SOJ in three, two, one, zero. Eh, well, you always need a nature's piece, right? Running that Neolithic, sometimes anyways. Easy Minald. You guys know what's up. Not this time though. Nature's piece, cool. Yeah, Minald and Nagel are the safe bets, am I right? You guys, all about the safe bets. I bet you buy. I bet you invest in S&P 500 indexes too, don't you? I'm just kidding. I, I mean, I do. So. <clears throat> I'm all about those AI penny stocks and and random meme coins where it's at. That's how you get rich nowadays. Did I? Oh, I thought I set this to players three. What's going on here? No wonder. All those other times I thought, ah, yeah, t Terrorized Andy is one to where players one I can see definitely arguing that you can get away with P1 a lot of times, depending on what you're looking at too, but uh, Players 3 can really help you out here, so. Strictly hedge funds, says Fred. There you go. I need to be a hedge fund guy. P1 Andy sucks. Uh, I mean, it's not as good. For for Andy specifically, doing that. Doing uh, terrorized Andy, yeah. I mean, you can still definitely find good stuff. I've, uh... I almost, almost, almost got a Tyrell's Might online on P1. It was, of course, a unique sacred armor that was actually not Tyrell's Might, so. P3 better than P P7? It's going to depend on your kill speed. If you have anything but, like, the absolute best, like, build in the game, player 7 is going to, like, slow you down a bunch. So, it's going to be your own calculation, I suppose, but... Nowadays, me, personally, I almost, like, never run Player 7 anymore, or Players 8.
Mercenary got ripped. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, Lion. It's, pro it's probably a good bet, actually, so. See, Gary said he's rocking an old school one. He's only got like 200 orb damage at the moment. Yeah, you'll you'll get there. You'll get there. I got this is my single player account. I've been playing for almost a couple years now, actually. So I got like great gear. All all skillers in the inventory. So. Uh, oh yeah, that couldn't be it. Anyways, let's see. Maybe you. Maybe you. Fire po or lightning poison? That's okay, but grand charm. You guys thought I didn't see it. <whistles> Whoops. Come on, be it. 220s on single player, finally! Oh, man. Even not having a lot, if that was just 220 with Mana Leech, ugh. I don't know why, what it is with 220s on single player. And no, I'm not gonna go shop. It is illegal to shop for Java gloves. It's illegal. So close. Anything going to be immune to your smite? Um, if you're talking about running torches and annies, the, the bosses aren't, but you'll run into like gnats in some of the areas if you uh, lure monsters into your area anyways. There could be some occasional immunities like that, but... Um, let's see. I think, uh, I think in Uber Tristram there's some immune to physicals. Ghosts or something, yeah. <laughs> First uh, Neothak run, double key drop. Ooh, nice. Biv, nice. Oh, so Patrick's a Foden player. Let's see, what uh, were you asking about? Oh, the P3, P7. Yeah, with foe, I usually don't do player seven. For sure. You can you can do it. You you can definitely kill stuff and it's okay, but I just don't. Not worth the time in my opinion. Uh oh, these guys are about to destroy my boy over here. Alpha, ethereal, gross. Ooh, just off a of monster chilling over here. Ah, seeing if it was gonna be ethereal. Good old Gladbane. It's a cool one. It's a cool one. Ooh. Wait, what was the percentage on that? 180. Anyone remember offhand what this goes up to? Is it 200? Almost perfect on the dual damage reduced. Yeah, I was thinking after I threw it down, I was like, wait a second. I didn't really look at it that closely. 2019. So is it 2020? Um, I'll just uh, throw it over here and we'll... I'll, Oh, I got another one right here. 2015, 175. I guess we'll get rid of that one, huh? New, new best uh, Gladbane, perhaps? Eh, whatever. We'll take out a couple champions. The glitch dandy probably more worth the time, but I'm already firing away now. Fourteen. Twenty-two. 
2020 is perfect you say gotcha let me google machine here real quick let's go ready tours Spain. i want to see what the enhanced damage rolls to on that oh it's 150 to 200 okay still still yeah for the immortal sorceress the the damage reduced stuff's actually kind of cool neato right importante Good click. All right, kind of okay. St oh, mercenary is about getting ripped over here. <laughs> When's the next Geo Guesser stream? I've been um, great question. Great question. Oops. Uh-oh. Too many dogs everywhere. Great. One eternity later. Dun, 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 dun. How long did it take me to farm that Andy layout? It took me one try. <laughs> I was like, uh, or maybe it took me two or three. Uh, so yeah, I got dumb lucky. I was like, ah, these other maps are not important. Like I'm never gonna run lower Karast again. I'm never like, who cares about how good my, I had a super crazy Mephisto map, but I was like, no, I want to go ahead and get an Andaro map and uh, I did like once or twice and I was like, oh no, oh my gosh. So yeah, pretty crazy. So, uh, Immortal King Boots and boom. Oh, okay, wait. so much for that. Crazy lucky. Bone Helm. Six NATO. We can do it. No good. Yeah, you don't really get a uh, Andaro map much better than this one. Arab shell boots. There we go. I was just talking about those. And a mesh belt. Andy popping off there for a second. Tal's belt. 13 magic find. Can get 15 on that. Walker and small charm don't need a simple one there. And a 152, 13, 14, 41. Is that a good roll or a bad roll, fellas? I already know. I'm just joking. It's the best possible. Hype. I think those can go up to 70 poison. Um, do those go up to 20 on both vitality and strength, I think, and not 200 on the enhanced defense, I think. Kind of neat to get all the stuff together, I guess, but. Don't quote me on all those things, but I know the poison can go to 70, I believe. You know what I might do? J just since it's Andy here and I can respec super fast. I think I might switch the fireball super quick. Oh, 15 on the stats. Gotcha. Okay. Got that one wrong. That's the one I was least confident in. So of course I was wrong, huh?
Uh, make sure I didn't click. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Got the synergies, got the all that maxed out. Okay, right here, I guess. Let's see. I don't have an infinity, so how does it blast away? Ah, it still blasts pretty good. Bivs has seen worse on the treks. Yes, it's true. Could always be anti-perfect, so. <laughs> Typical Phil Casey says. Joins the stream and I'm respecking. Well, I figured we got terrorized dandy. We got a chance to go ahead and get that Tyrell's might maybe. So why don't we actually try to make it happen, huh? Andy's on three. Uh, players three is what you're asking. Then yes, uh, Figlet. Yep. Whoops. Oh, Cryptic Axe. Perfect Ethereal. No, not, but still perfect Tomb Reaver. Garbage. Cool item, but you want it to roll better than that, right? <laughs> One socket rip. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Viv said, if I got that roll on Ethereal Treks, people would lose their minds. Yeah, I do have a... I actually did find a pair of Ethereal Sandstorm Treks here on uh, single player. That's pretty cool. But yeah, they didn't roll very good. And then I have like a pair of like almost perfect... Oh, Scalders. The number of Scalders. Somehow I've never found... And I've mentioned this like seven times, so sorry if it's a quadruple repeat here. I've never found an Ethereal Scalders. I mean, you know what a Scalders looks like anyways. Not that part, but... <laughs> good old Scalders. How have I never found Ethereal Scalders out of like 700 Scalders I've found? Maybe even 800. Michael says the bots in game are ridiculous. Um, are you talking about like the spam bots for the uh, websites and stuff? Or are you seeing like actual bots teleporting around in game and stuff? The website ones, yeah. Yeah, those are incredibly annoying. The entire chat section is quite literally just for... It's like it's designed specifically for bots to spam their websites. That's what it seems. If enchant would have been better than, than warmth, buff the mercenary. Eh, sounds like a lot of work. Using a chant on the mercenary. Rip. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, somebody does, but not this guy. Whoops. Wait, what happened? What happened to this guy? Poor guy. Biff said he can get a Griffins in Infinity for, for like five bucks. Almost pulled the trigger. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, and everyone's against real money transaction, and I would not tell anybody to do that, but it's hard to argue when someone's like, yeah, five bucks is literally like, uh, is like seven minutes of, at work, but it would take me literally two months to find all this stuff, if not more. And I'm like, of like 40 hours a week of playing, and I'm like, I mean... I guess I kind of get it. 
20 bucks is 20 bucks. Unwritten book of the road. Right? Yeah, less less than an expensive coffee, says Jeezy. Less than his coffee costs. Unbitten, unwritten book of the road. Good old tomb wand. What else we got around here? <laughs> Doomhammer said, good old Andy. Found a lower rune in there the other day. Nice. I wouldn't mind that. I don't like quote unquote need it, but I mean, who's ever mad about finding more high runes, right? Oh man, I got too many high runes. This stinks. Andy H is hardcore ladder more pricey. I can believe that. I can believe that. Keep blasting her. There we go. By high rune, did you mean L rune? We're talking about L L runes, right? One of these days, I'm gonna get a 220. Java glove is gonna happen. I know it. I knows it. Scott Deloof. Daily comment for the algo. Appreciate ya. Make sure y'all hit that like button too for the that good old algorithm thing too. Um, my brain was melting for a second there. I don't know if you guys seen that. <laughs> Jaw dropped. I'm like, uh. Right, Patrick, always. You got got to keep everybody happy. You got to hit that, that button. Job, job told me not to go downtown this week. Um, the week of the draft. It's going to be crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. I, th I, oh, I think I'm going to go down there one day. Because, you know, like... When they had the Super Bowl in Detroit, I didn't go down there and I like regret it so much. I was like, oh, who cares? I'm just going to go down there and party. You can party any day. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of wish I would have went. So I'll go down there one day. Should be cool. It's just gonna be crazy. Like I'm gonna have to pay. If you go down to the draft, it's probably gonna be, I don't know. What do you think? Sixty dollars to park any, literally anywhere, and they're gonna be everywhere you go. You're like, there's gonna be nowhere to park for free. Oh, ooh, good old Talzami. Let's go. Love to see it, fellas. Love to see it. Don't really find as many of those as uh, as you know you'd think. Exactly, Lion, exactly. Here he'll throw, show us your might, bro. Yeah. Casey wants Andy, terrorize Andy, have a, a different form. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of work for him, right? Sounds like a big ask. Oh, and an SOJ on the next run and 640 javelins and a 40 to light lightning skiller. Ooh, oh, well, at least I got this SOJ. Yeah, Raven Frost, all right. 15209, I mean, not great. And yeah, that's not good either. So, eh, it's so so, but Raven Frost, cool. Raven Frost, cool. You always need one, right? Uh, Battle Hammer, what is this again? Uh, Earthshaker, yeah, okay. It's just a baby interesting, I guess. Oh, what? Wait a second. It got me good. Uh, it's I'm not getting gotten this time, fellas. Oh wait, 
I did get gotten because I thought it was Blackborn's face, but it's Andaro's visage was just chilling over there off of some other monster. <laughs> I can never remember Demon Head and Darl's Visage. I always forget. I always forget. Just chilling over there, right? Nice. <sighs> I always get Blackhorn's face and uh, Andy's mixed up. Always. Yeah, yeah. E even though it's so much, yeah, uh, Casey, I'm, I'm definitely going for sure, but... How about here? What do I got? I know I got a Talzami in here. Maybe we'll get the same graphics too already. Who cares? Mm, I'm never going to use that. Let that out. Nice strength roll too. Uh, I didn't see. Oh, 30's the max, isn't it? On that. I guess I didn't think about it. 135 defense. I don't know what that rolls to, but I don't know that it really matters that much. Who never found a Shaco? Snowpro? Was that you? Champion Sword. What is this? Cloud Crack or something? There's stuff. It's too much stuff. Too much stuff. Oh, Doombringer. Sword used to be goaded back in the day. Am I right, fellas? Good old Doombringer. Rare boots are two reses or whatever. But Shaco of a 135 roll on that, too. Getting after it. And we got to check this Grand Charm down here, too. No. Good old Doombringer, dude. Well, no, nowadays, I mean, you can't really. But yeah, that's cool. Oops. I probably got enough Shakos nowadays, but it's still cool. Ooh. Still cool. 135, that might be up there as one of the better ones I got, actually, too, so. Fear, oh, fear from talking about a minute ago when I found that Andes. He hasn't gotten his Andes yet, yeah. It's pretty rare. They're pretty rare, so for sure. Uh, Fuchis, welcome in. Blasting some TZ Andy at the moment. Guys. What? Ogreax. Boo. Good old Bone Hue. 270. I think it rolls to 320. So that's real low. Bone, he's just cool because it's an ogre axe, right? Ogre. Not ogre. Ogre. Ethereal. <sighs> I've still not gotten an ethereal reaper's toll. 224. Okay. All right. Well, I don't remember what that rolls to. I'm going to be honest. So, but reaper's toll and then a swirling crystal towels. 222. Boom. Oh. So, not the greatest roll, but three of them. Three things, three cool things all at once. What's better than two at once? Three at once. Am I right, men's? All right, what was I doing here? Um, Crown shield? What's crown shield? Must have been from a minute ago. Oh, this one. I didn't even see it. I was too distracted. Too distracted. Crown shield so unloved. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like rare shields don't usually ever be good, right? Hello. Like a blue shield technically could be some crazy jeweler's crown shield of deflecting with 45 all res or something. But like a rare shield, you can't get all them sockets and stuff. Like I know with rare rare stuff, you rare pally shields, you can technically get like 50 or maybe even 55 all res or something more than on normal stuff. But like. You lose so much else, you know. I didn't really think rare pally shields you could be great, but can you socket a magical? Um, you can Larzic a magic item, yeah, but it, it has I I believe yeah, it's a 50-50 chance of getting either one or two sockets in a blue item from Larzic. You don't get like max sockets like you do on a white item. Hey. Oculus is trying to save my life. Didn't want it. Didn't want you to that time. 
Oh, not a... It's actually the exciting Grand Charm. Sunday Charms are so boring because they drop everywhere. It's a Geeds. And it's going to be... I, I got to... I you guys got to wait because I was about to get taken out. <laughs> what was it? 121, 10, 35. Not a terrible roll. Not terrible, but... Not super spectacular either. Um, let me let me gather up. Make sure I didn't miss anything here, real quick. Pretty sure I got better than that nowadays. But uh, elbow flea, thank you for the Twitch prompts. Uh, One of those basil subscriptions. Appreciate you. Haven't been able to lurk with Phil in a long time. Sleep eighty. Appreciate you. Welcome in. Uh, oh, sorry. I got, I got a little behind on some of these uh, few comments here, trying to catch up a little bit. Uh, Mo Drizzle, uh, respect you, bro. Play offline. Uh, appreciate. It, yeah, I play a little, mostly offline, a little bit online. So yeah, yeah. Whoops. Flail, no good. Got that Holy Grail rock in. <laughs> When I was looking at chat, you thought I was going to leave before I grabbed the Geeds? No, I never miss stuff. So, some people think I do, but I don't. I miss a thing here and there, so. Rao Rune, Legendary. Mm. Uh, Gorilla Shadow, appreciate you for, uh, looks like you're kind of answering some questions there on Twitch. Sorry, I got, I got a little distracted and got behind, so my apologies. How much magic fun I'm rocking right now? Uh, yeah, what is it? I think it's probably like 380 now, huh? Amulet again. Can we get another? Another Tails already? No! War Scepter. Pronounced correctly also. Sparkling Balls. Real mature, guys. Ugh. Yeah, speaking on uh, budget items, yeah, Oath is pretty nasty. Because, yeah, when I started that, well, uh, it wasn't the last season. I started this last one with Fists of Heaven. So, one before that, I started Barbarian. And boy, out of every other thing I tried, stepping up from the other budget things to Oath was such an insanely huge leap, it felt. Like, so huge. And yeah, if you get, a, I think I did. I ended up doing mine in a Bullrog blade. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of other bases. Yeah, it's very, very good call there, fellas. Just got your appendix removed. My goodness. 386 on the magic find. Hopefully, hoping for a speedy uh, recovery there. Um, no, 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 no. Ever played Torchlight? Nope, 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 nope. Never played it. Oh, nothing there. Thought there was something there. There wasn't anything there. I 
Is it worth running a Phoenix on a Fire Sorceress? Uh, could be. For sure. I mean, Phoenix, you get that Redemption Aura too, so that can... Even that helps out with survivability. You obviously have minus res on, on Phoenix, right? So, uh, I've done it before. Uh, it's been, been a minute, so... I wouldn't say... Um, if someone said they like to run it, I definitely wouldn't tell them it was a bad idea. Any 99 characters? I do not. Nope. I, I never really care too much about leveling. I guess I'm kind of getting there now, like, slowly. Um, not, I'm not really paying attention to leveling, really, though. It just kind of happens from slaying demons nonstop. I'm trying to magic find. I thought about, since I'm kind of so close, even though I know the last level goes very slowly, and I'm only at 98, not even 98 and a half yet, um, I was thinking about doing it just because I never have before, but I, I mean, all, I, you just gotta go to players nine, or players, players nine difficulty, yeah, that'd help. P8 and just like Nova Sorceress slam blast, you know what I'm saying, so. Oath and lightsaber or Oath and something else? Um... I don't remember, what did I do? What did I do? Probably Oath and Storm Shield is good safety, but uh, I think I might have done... Did I just go two-handed Oath? I can't remember what I did. I don't remember. Large Charm, gross, not even gonna look at it. You know what? This one time I will. I got a good feeling. It's gonna be five Fire Us, is what I meant to say. Rocks, yo! Welcome in. Uh, Withering talking about Torchlight says it's the, everything's just like D2. Different, but same style. Like, so, gotcha. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't really have a huge desire to play other video games a, a lot anymore, to be honest. I mean, I play GeoGuessr, but that's... GeoGuessr's a video game, but it's like not really a video game, right? GeoGuessr's not really a video game. Patrick says, never can get that layout. Yeah, I just got lucky, right? I just got lucky. <clears throat> Jeezy said, too cartoony, couldn't get into Torchlight. Um, Yeah, I mean, I probably really wouldn't be able to probably either then, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just not huge on a ton of other games. Five max. No, that's a uh, jewel. What am I thinking? I guess I should ID the blue amulet since it's a uh, Terra Zone. I forgot. I forget. Yeah, I got super. I got so lucky with this setup. Uh, this map. Like I, I was mentioning earlier. I don't don't know if you were here when I was talking about it, but yeah, I, I rerolled the map like twice. I think, and I was like. Even if this takes me 20 minutes, I'm going to keep this Terror Zone, and it's going to be so sick to have. Like, even if it takes a half hour, I'm going to keep re-rolling this, no matter how long it takes, pretty much. And then I rolled it twice, and I was... Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this map. Oh, my god. So, that was pretty sick. George Walters. Peace out. Heard Falling in Reverse for the first time. Do I have a favorite album or song? Um, I don't know that they... I don't think they even put out albums anymore. The way the modern music works, they just put out, like, singles all the time. I think that's what they do now. But, uh... It depends what type of music you like, kind of, sorta. I know some of this Elder Staff, I mean, that's... Budget Enigma, but... I mean... Watch the world burn is pretty cool. Uh, um, that one, that's if you guys like the the heavy hard hitting. He starts off like rapping in that one, and then and then at the end just goes crazy heavy. The last songs are good. Um, I don't know what you mean by last, like the latest ones that they put out. You mean he did a remake of? Uh, it's kind of a semi-popular thing to do with some other bands do it too. Motionless and White does. They make like slow versions of like other songs and like different versions of other songs. He does a kind of an interesting version of uh, Last Resort by Papa Roach. 
which is it's almost like a slow one where I like I kind of like these songs too when they're like super slow at the start like piano and stuff and they build and they build and they build and they build until it's just like raging at the end like super slowly building um there's a song called drugs that I like a lot popular monster is like their most popular one probably but drugs is cool he's got a fe he's got a feature from oh no what's his name why is it slipping my mind the lead singer of uh slipknot um Corey taylor so there's some good ones right there jeezy like the last resort from falling in reverse yeah it was, it was pretty good i wasn't sure what to think about it the first time i was a big fan of uh what is it the drug in me is you reimagined or whatever I kind of like those kind of slow. They start off super slow and they build and they build and they build. Get more like emotional singing or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, Rizal. Um, yeah, if you use the Larsic quest in, in normal difficulty, if you um, grab an item from hell that, that has high enough level to get the max sockets and you Larsic it in normal, you'll get the max sockets. Or whatever difficulty you have an item that... As long as the, the, the item is from a difficulty where you can get the maximum number of sockets, you can go to Nightmare or Normal and get the max sockets. Asking Alexandria, Andrea did a version of, of a pop song. Yeah, they've done they've done like uh, they've been doing that for a while where it's like uh, pop goes screamo and stuff like that or different different things like that. They've been doing that for like forever with different bands. I don't think they even put out those. They used to do albums, albums like that. Like, I don't know who would put them out, but now people just like make them themselves. You know, you can do all that stuff just in your room, right? Drugs, that's drugs, right? Yeah, totally. Totally. Awesome Kingdom from the Toadies. Let's go. Here's a good one. Is it about turning girls into vampires? So I actually know the exact story about that song because me and my buddy <laughs> would, uh, for, for whatever reason, we used to, well, we would go to the bar and we'd play the music like, you know, on the digital jukebox or whatever. And that's one of the songs we would play. And he, or he played it one time. I was like, oh, I forgot about this. Oh my God. And we, we looked it up and it's about like, an urban legend of this like legit pond like and they he wrote this entire song about this urban legend of this man that lived in the pond that would come out and terrorize the city or whatever i don't remember every last detail of the whole thing but that's pretty much what it's about Heavy Bracers again. Found one of those earlier. <laughs> Good old Possum Kingdom. Great jam. The music video is pretty cool. Um, I don't remember the music video like at all for that song, so. like at all might have been a little too young when it first when it came out Tara Andy don't leave us <laughs> we got a little we got 10 more minutes so yeah
Um, sleep. What uh, what album are you talking about there? I uh, got I missed the context there. I don't remember which album you're talking about, or which band you're talking about for that matter. Oh come on! That's the only problem with fire is they're all immune to fire, so it's hard to hard to get in there if you mess up. Oh, the toadies. Okay, gotcha. Oh, little three eighteen action. All right, you'd want to you'd want some twenty life on there too, but that's not too bad. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest. From the toadies, I've never heard another song of theirs besides Possum Kingdom. So. Thirty-seven, Richie. <clears throat> Our boss's drops capped at three. That's not my understanding, but uh, the difference between three, like on, on offline single player anyways, the difference between players three and players seven difficulty is like not a large amount. Because let's see right here. I, I didn't see if that came off of it. You can only get six items. So if you get six items, like most of the time off of the boss, any higher is not going to matter anyway, so. I know uh, Bale's Bale's drops are capped at three, but I don't. I didn't think all the other bosses were. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got six there. Um, maybe maybe Diablo's were too. Um, I'm trying to think now. I look thirty. Not. Ah. With a with a poor camera. said he's never heard of a cap on any of them except for bail so that's kind of what that's kind of what i had heard yeah yeah gorilla says he heard that diablo's experience is actually capped at seven interesting Blast this straight edge hardcore scene is based. <laughs> probably, probably not too bad. I'm, I'm real bad at genreing, so I mean, straight edge is just like not offensive and not uh, drug related stuff, right? I probably like some, a lot of that stuff. Probably seen a bunch of that kind of stuff in, in, in concert, actually, playing with a lot of the people I listen to. Go watch. Jordan says if I played if come to the water by toadies, I'd probably recognize it. Maybe. Could be. Could be one of the ones that, that were radio played and I just don't remember it or whatever, but shoot. Ah. Poor execution there. Immortal King's boots again. favorite artist band i mean uh it's, it's hard to say nowadays like but i've seen silverstein a bazillion times uh it depends if you're talking still making music or not like a few albums by atreyu were crazy good just like insanely the curse was like the best one of the best albums ever made uh bullet for my valentine had some uh, good albums and uh some bad ones but some not great ones but motionless and white is sick Six minutes. 
probably like five and a half, but chaos armor. <clears throat> Double check it. Appreciate you, Patrick. CKY says, oh, Dylan, yeah, you got a CKY uh, emblem as your uh, thing or whatever. Yeah, CKY, probably the only song I know is the one that everybody knows from Tony Hawk Pro Skater. <laughs> so they're probably pretty good, though. Probably pretty good. Three set diadem, says Jasper. Yeah, I, I know that pain. That's for sure. New subscriber here. Been lurking in uh, live videos for a while. Appreciate the chill content. Uh, Moa Bass. Appreciate you. Thank you very much for the kind words. Welcome in. Well, I guess you've been in. You say you've been lurking for a while or on and off. So either way. Hello. I don't need that anyways. Ginther's Riff. Could argue if it was. Wow. So, many, so much stuff in here. Of course it is. Exactly, yeah. 90, 90, 96 quite bitter beings. Isaiah said he got to meet motionless and white. Super nice guys. Huh, that's pretty legendary. Why'd you write bass again? Is it the uh, base? Maybe three items only. Come on, bro. See, if you're on players eight, I bet you, you wouldn't. You would never get three like that. But do I like stained? Ah, uh, he's all right. It's all right. Not my fave, but not not terrible. First concert was Kiss in 78. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> more bass. Gotcha. Now you're more into, uh, Old school metal, death metal. Gotcha, gotcha. Good old death metal. I'm super bad at genreing stuff, so I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> a lot of times people ask me like which, uh, which like death metal band or something my favorite. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what genre people are in. Raises target. Ariax needle. Fuchis, I have not. Crystal Lake. Aeons. Uh, don't know that one. Yeah, it's crazy, Robin. You're in fourth grade. First first concert I ever went to that was like I picked and I was like, I want to go to this was actually one of the warp tours. Um I did go to I, I went to one concert before that, but it was like like 96.3 the planet, like a local radio station's uh you know, like birthday bash or something. <clears throat> uh, again, what am I looking for? Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Okay, we got like 30 seconds. Gotta be this run. Cryptic Axe again, not ethereal again. It got the three sockets at least. Gotta go quick though, because we're about to, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make another run. Not enough time. Final run, we get a three socketed Tomb Reaver at least. Cryptic, Cryptic Axe, so that's cool, I guess. I don't know if that's a bad roll or not, I can't remember, but. 
least he got three sockets in her. Let me look up how they rolls. Tomb Reaver. I know there's like seven different things that roll on it, so. Roll. All right, so we got. Let me throw it over here real quick. Up to 280 enhanced damage. So 268 is pretty good. Okay. Damage to undead up to 230. Whatever. That's not a huge deal. Uh, 350 up. So it's right in the middle on the attack rating against undead. Um, what else rolls differently? Oh, perfect res. Okay. All right. Magic finds kind of on the low side. It goes 50 to 80 on the magic find, but all right. That's cool. I guess at least the res is good. That's cool. Uh, K-Dog said he plays on Switch offline. He accidentally duped some stuff the other day. Whoopsie. I won't tell nobody, I promise. Hmm, there's my mage fist. I don't have enough room to even store all this garbage. All this malarkey. Let's go over here. Um, let's see where are we at here. How does players three on single player create a three players three online in a game? So players three offline is the same as if there was three people in the game and they were just like split magic finding and nobody was near you. I see Saffron was uh, helping you answer that question too, so. And yeah, it, that talks about just like the no drop chance like you said there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Saffron's all over it. Appreciate you, Saffron, for helping me out there. Um, what was I doing here? Okay, right, let's go ahead and respec it up real quick here, huh? I think I'm just gonna go... Maybe let's go back to Frost Nova. Frost Nova's easy. Don't have to aim. Easy peasy. Blizzard and Frozen Orb synergies. <laughs> We're at 150 here. Where did I put all these points? What did I do before? Now I can't remember. Did I put some in the cold mastery? I don't I don't remember now. Oh the whole time I had full inventory of cold skillers when I was fireballing. <laughs> and a cold skills amulet. I thought it was going a little bit slow, but I know I didn't have infinity on, so I was like, it's probably just that. That's funny. That's funny, Phil. Um, I think I ended up dumping a bunch in a warp. What did I do? What did I do? That's fine. I guess we'll put a few more into Cold Mastery over here. I really don't remember. Lizard and Frozen Orb. Um... Gotta go with that, with... Oh, uh, let's go here, whatever. Taking too long already. We'll figure out what I did wrong later. Um, so Vincent, he, he says he doesn't even know how he did it. Uh, so... Wasn't even sure how he did it.
Yeah, the whole time, but that's all good. No big deal. Ghost Spear. Yeah. How am I resetting the skills? So on offline single player, you can... It's called typing in a command line argument in the Battle.net launcher. So it's like part of the game, but you just type it in on PC and then you can unlimitedly respec for free. Offline single player. Um, let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. So if three people are in a chaos, but on different ends, how does that affect the no drop? Um, music ran out. Let me go ahead and, uh, get that fired up, up again. Wait, what about, oh, I didn't even notice. Okay. It's on the same guy's stuff. So that's good enough. So I'm not sure specifically, cause it depends technically. Technically, um, it dep it measures on whether the node drop chance, if they're in your area. What I've been told is that it's roughly the equivalent of two screens away from you. So if they're literally on the exact opposite ends of the cast sanctuary, I think technically they wouldn't be in your area. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly if it's literally, I'm sure it's not literally measured by screen length. I think it's measured by some sort of distance in the game or whatever, so. I think technically they wouldn't be in your area, but it's hard to say for sure. I don't, you know. Anyways, to get unlimited respects for offline? Question mark? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to explain, but it's really easy to show. So I do have a video about it. Um, I think it's like exclamation free respec or something or exclamation free i think it's free respec link to the video if someone wants to see it so you can only do it on offline single player pc use enable respec uh Solo self on offline D2R account. My brother convinced me it was cheating. I deleted everything and started over. That. Never get convinced into something like that. <laughs> I don't think it's cheating, but it doesn't really matter. That's the good thing about offline single player. You can do whatever you want that makes you happy. Benefits to offline compared to online. So offline, there's a lot of different things you can do offline. So obviously there's the players count thing you can change all the time. You can enable free respec all the time, obviously. On PC, you can have unlimited characters, unlimited amount of mules if you want to, unlimited amounts of just characters in general. Let's say you want to try a build out but you don't want to spend six hours trading for the gear just to try the build out to see if you like it or not. You can go on a website, Hero Editor, and uh, just make it within five minutes and boom, you're trying it, your build out with perfect end game gear if you want to. Um, there's just a million, million different things about single player that people could like better than online. There's going to be like 70 other ones that I couldn't think of right now, but there's a bazillion things. Mods, could call it that one. I don't, I don't use one, but that's just because I only have one item left on my Holy Grail. But there's uh, like loot filters and all that kind of stuff. So there's even even some people uh, made their own single player mods where they uh, like changed around some of the gear and stuff I've seen. So like kind of like PD2-esque. But the only thing is, is you can't do like private servers with it, so you can't really do that, but. 
Oh yeah, the maps stay the same all the time. That's always convenient, right? Yeah, about, about five or eight different people set up, but yeah, no such thing as cheating an offline single player, that's for sure. As long as you're not like, check this out guys, I found all this gear and I'm so good, you loser. How come you don't have anything, you dumb dumb? Then, you know, I guess that's not, that's kind of cheating, sort of. Cheating is probably not the right word, it's probably just like, being an a-hole, but. <laughs> Hacked items on open battle net were insane. Yeah, back in the day they were pretty crazy. And yeah, I didn't know anything about that. One time when I was a kid, I hopped into a game and I was just trying to transfer stuff on single player from one character to another. And this guy was like, hey, what you doing? And I, I, was, I was just like, uh, nothing. And he's like, hey, do you want this stuff? And he just started chucking things on the ground and it was all a bunch of hacked stuff. Obviously they could dupe it super easy on open battle net so he just like gave me a bunch of stuff and i was like what oh my gosh you know when it's a full list the whole screen is a uh, different stats that's on the gear or whatever you know there's literally like 60 things on the gear 190 strength 1800 magic find 200 increased attack speed you know <laughs> on like a, a helmet and then your pc explodes yeah Right. What holy grail am I doing? Yeah, where you try to find every single unique in the game. Usually they say, uh, we'll go with every rune too, since I've found every rune. So what am I doing? Yeah, every unique in the game, I got one left. It's going to be two years, maybe even three or four before I find it probably. Yeah. Or this run you never know could be right now maybe almost missed it huh okay These ones are interesting. This play is ain't too bad. <laughs> Saffron says only streamers cheat on single player. Could be. Only the people that can literally prove every item they found because it's all on the internet for prov provability sake. Patrick said he got a bunch of hack stuff given to him on uh, D1, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I'd, I know a lot less about D1, so. All right. See, now I got in the habit of going all the way to the bottom there. <laughs> from running Andy there for a minute. Yeah, oh well. Well, I'm getting beat up. I might want to move, huh? Okay, Munical. Get him, buddy. Damage reduced by 22. Cold rest.
Come on. So Moa, if you start single player, you're gonna to want to go sorceress, and you're probably um, a lot of times people start off running LK or Andaral and Mephisto, so you get a little bit of gear up, and then kind of you can start other characters. Maybe run LK. You can even run LK till you get uh, Enigma if you wanted to. So pretty basic. Go sorceress, get some good good gear, and the Andy Mephisto way, and then. Fire other things up after that. Jesse says, play the class that's most fun. I mean, in general, I guess, but Sorceress is, you'll, you'll get your gear to get your like builds online exponentially faster with a Sorceress than you will with any other character. Just being able to jump walls instantaneously, like with teleport, like nonstop. Not to mention getting high runes to make infinity and enigma takes way longer than, than it seems online. Like actually finding them all yourself. So when I was playing regular D2 before D2R came out to make my first uh, Enigma, I ended up deciding to cube up to it because I hadn't had uh, I hadn't found a Jai yet. So I cubed up all my ohms and everything I got from Lower Crust. It took me a year and a half before I found my first Jai rune. So yeah, and that was with a sorceress and um, uh, and using teleport on all the other characters. So, yeah, I mean, I got to say, starting with a sorceress, lower Kuras, teleporting around, telekinesis thing, I would say is, in my opinion, like mandatory. But you don't have to do. You don't have to do what I, you know, you can do it. Anyone can do whatever they want. Wait, where am I? Dang it. Went the wrong place again. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> K-Dog. Or just hear what it's the stuff in. Good call. <laughs> Definitely could do that. Yeah, Kate, I actually said actually put in that map seed that they found that where you could uh, get a Baroon most of the runs. Yeah, I mean, sing nothing on single player is cheating, but I mean, you're really pushing the boundaries there, like between legit and like not legit. Whatever you want to do is fun, obviously, but like I do infinitely respec, I guess, but I feel like picking a map seed that has like a, a little gimmick to it to where a Baroon will drop every run is little bit over the top but i mean nothing wrong with doing it for funds or whatever but i feel like it's sub legit sub legit yep year and a half yeah and and i play quite a bit i was streaming diablo 2 and it took me a year and a half to find my first job rune so I would have never been able to make Enig Enigma for a year and a half <laughs> offline. That'd be crazy. Uh, Vincent said he's been farming LK for a couple months and just got his first bar rune. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you need to reset your map seed before that or something. I don't know. A, a month and a half. That's pretty wild. 
pretty wild. And the thing is, the thing is though too, getting a burr from LK, like the idea of running LK, you're not even supposed to be expecting burr runes. Really the idea is you're gonna get the sir rune um, and then cube the sir runes together to get burr runes. And then obviously the other runes to make things too. Or you could even cube those all together. What I did is I cubed every rune I got from LK together. I got an old school video up from what, back when I did it. Running LK uh, Enigma, run it. How did I word it? I don't remember, but I ran Lower Kuras till I made Enigma. But I cubed together a couple of low runes that dropped, like four Ohm runes, a bunch of Iss and Ums. I cubed everything, everything up to uh, to get Enigma. Everything. Where did I get the Jaw drop? Uh, I eventually found the Jaw running Eldritch and Shank, actually. Um, and actually, after I found the first Jaw rune, I ended up finding, uh, I found another, I found one Jaw rune at Shank. Where did I find the second one at? I don't remember where I found the second one at, but the very next day I found another Jaw rune. So I found two in two days. And then like two weeks later, I found another Jaw rune. So, just part of the luck, huh? <laughs> Mega Milo, what's going on? I'm doing pretty good. Runes used to be white. Yeah, withering. That was a crazy thing. Somebody I heard, I don't know who, but somebody used to have a map pack that was called C-3PO and it made the runes orange. Or maybe it was R2-D2 map pack. I don't remember. They always picked those Star Wars robots. But it made the runes orange. And then they came out with the patch that made them orange and I was like, hmm. That's weird how they made the runes the same color that they had them in the, in the, uh, in the map pack. Or, I mean, the person who had it, I mean, I didn't have... I would never do something against Terms of Service, for sure. But whoever it was that did have it noticed that uh, it was kind of funny that they made the runes the same color that the hero editor had, or the uh, map hack had made them. Probably Pits or Arcane. Uh, I didn't really run Pits or Arcane a lot back then, to be honest. Mighty Skepter, Heaven's Lights, three to Pally, bunch of increased attack speed, crushing blow, two sockets, demon life after kill. Kind of a underrated like budget thing there, huh? Probably because it's so rare. It's like budget, but super kind of su kind of rare to find. Kind of rare to find. It's no grief, but. <laughs> Pick it back into the day. Yeah. How often do I change my map seed? Uh, almost never, really. Just if I... Really, I, I only change the map seed if I wanted a, a better looking map. And then, I guess, I did run 1,000 LK runs and I didn't get a single high rune and then I reset the map seed. And then I got a few on the next 1,000, so... Yeah, I would say if, if you do like a thousand LK runs and you get and you don't get any high runes, then you should reset your map seed. Because I did that where I, I found like four ist runes and like three ums and some pulls. I got 1000 runs, no high runes. So if you do that, reset your map seed. Because <laughs> I didn't want to reset it because it was like it was literally quite literally an absolute perfect lower cross map. But didn't didn't get any high runes. So. Does map seed reset on LK help mix up the rune drops? Um, it, it can, it, it can. Um, it can and it, it also, it... If you're like running the map literally identical, like you have to run it ex literally identical to a T to get like the same exact drop every time, but I guess if you're running it super efficiently and you are running remarkably close to the exact same, because really Ginger, Ginger did do a good job like testing it out and showing or whatever, but um, 
but yeah different actions can affect the way things drop but usually it's so fine-tuned that you can't really control exactly how you're acting to get it to drop the same thing every time so i wouldn't usually worry about it but it could come down to where like really if you're just running quickly all the different ways that the runes could drop within reason of running it quickly could cause you know no runes to drop technically it's really highly unlikely to, to get a lower cross map and then to be to have it to where you couldn't get any any high runes from there to be honest Sometimes, I mean, plus you you could just reset it literally just to make yourself feel better. Like you never want to keep getting unlucky and feel like you can't do anything about it. So sometimes it can just make you feel better to reset the map. Lunch break over says Fuchis. All right, peace out. Uh, how do map seeds work? Um, so there's like a bazillion map seeds, right? I guess so. Oh, I have a texture. Just want to make sure it's not my mom or something. Want to make sure. Oh, CVS. Never mind. So I, I guess. Mm, let's see. I'm not really going to comment on it too much. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Because it's like the maps are randomish, but I, I don't know. I think they're just like a bazillion different types of like map comment, like uh, tile set combinations. Like, I don't think they're actually randomly generated necessarily. So don't quote me on any of this, by the way. But since there's map seeds, it would seem like the, the, the maps aren't actually randomly generated. They're just pre there's just a, a bazillion predetermined maps. Unless unless the, the map seed number is kind of like part of the calculation that the game uses to put down the the tiles in certain areas or something like that. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how it works, to be honest. Not exactly sure. So I'm just spitballing here, it's all made up stuff I'm saying. <laughs> Battle belt. Not the one I thought it was. Troll belt, so I'm thinking of. Wrong one. Yeah, exactly, Saffron, yeah. Map seeds random, but if you get this, the exact same seed number, it replicates the map exactly, so. Shaco, but it's blue, not the unique one this time. First ever jaw, nice. Congratulations there, uh, sticks and stones.
Oh man, getting hungry. Almost dinner time here, huh? Speaking of almost dinner time. Wow, 247 likes. Appreciate you, fellas, for hitting the like button. Man, you put in that poll, hit the like button, and so many people hit the like button. We got 130 on YouTube and almost 70 on Twitch. Appreciate y'all. One of these days, keep dual streaming for a long time. One of these days, Twitch is going to take overtake YouTube here, it's, it looks like. One of these days. Twitch making you nervous? Yeah, right? Twitch coming in strong. <laughs> and Twitch will still be to blame. Yeah, right. I'll start blaming YouTube for everything after that. Good. What is he? Stone? Spectral hit. Undead. Taking him so long. Better spot than Mef for a Shaco. Um, I don't know technically, but I mean the standard spots are Andaral and Mephisto, so. Those are kind of like the standard locations. You can find it a ton of places, but those are kind of the go-tos that everyone says. But yeah, like a lot of things in D2 though, you could uh, keep attacking, keep going after Mephisto over and over. Like, I think I did like 1800 Mephisto runs and I didn't get a Shaco, so. Vile Vex, no good. Um, yeah, withering. Yeah, <clears throat> the map's the same, but it depends on yeah what like a bit like how long it takes you to get to the location, what angle you come into the thing. Yeah, just a bunch of different bunch of different stuff that I don't even know everything. But yeah, however they managed to get that set up to have everything appear random, pretty decent, right? Ninety. Uh, I'm ninety eight. Uh, Tess. Oops. What? Me and a cold. You bum. Are pindle runs still a thing? Uh, yeah. Yep. Sure are. I don't do them a lot anymore just because pindle can't drop me Tyro's Might. Unless he's terrorized, of course, and like that caveat or whatever, but... It's a good uh, find item, barb type of thing. <laughs> Karma found two shakos in a half hour. Nightmare Terror Zone. Nice. That's wild. Are drops pre-generated by the seed or rolled on the death? Rolled on the death. I think you meant to do rolled on the spot or something? So, what it appears to be from the seed, it's like, um... The seed determines, like, one variable in, like, the equation, and then different things, um, calculate towards the other. So you'll always have the same, like, it's almost like you have the same equation, 
based upon the map seed and like the thing that'll be there but then what angle you enter the tile at is like one variable for like weapons racks and stuff specifically 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 and uh yeah we'll say like uh where is because people have tried to do this like there's always that armor rack right here on lower kuras right because this is a campfire area so if i come in at this angle on this map seed where is that i went right by it so we got like a mummified head let me let me try it again let me try it again i'll hit it a few times <clears throat> technically if we got this map seed and we come in at the, at the same angle every time, you should get like a mummified head every time. See, I didn't, I didn't come at, at the right angle. So it, it, this one's not the best setup to kind of do this at, but I've done it before where, like I've seen people where they, you know, you come at this angle and a, a white Shaco is dropping off or a Sakura Shaco is dropping off an armor rack. And they were like farming it over and over for like two hours trying to get a, a, an actual Shaco, you know. Or, um, one that I can show you. I think I was getting what? I was getting a Curse Shield off of this one armor rack down in Stony Tombs. So we'll hop down there and I'll hit it. Because obviously in Stony Tombs it makes it even easier because you can only come into that tile from one direction. There's only a door from one way. So it actually kind of makes it easier to show, actually. Um, and I don't know if there are other variables too, like it'll calculate in like the time, like how long the game's been active or something. So. Uh, let's see, the base is fixed. Rarity is random each time. Yeah, um, the base it's it's kind of fixed but it's fixed based upon some different criteria which is kind of you can manipulate like what fall like on single player i can manipulate what falls off a rack in low cross based upon where where i come into the area the direction i come into the area and i don't know there, there could even be some other stuff too but i'll just run this the same way i was running it all the other times and there should be a curse shield off this one rack over here because you can only come in in one direction. And right here, full plate mail, you've ruined it. Well, a bunch of those other times, you have to go back and look, but which you're not going to obviously, but I was getting that curse shield off there a lot. So, but then also I've had it happen where, you know, I was getting a thresher off a particular rack for like an hour. And then, then all of a sudden I couldn't get a thresher anymore. So I don't know, it could be based on time and the seed and the angle you come in. It could be, I don't know all the, all the different things, so. Yeah, I've, uh, I've mentioned that a few times, K-Dog. Yeah, the Ginger's video about it. Um, withering, that's not, uh, what you're saying is not true, by the way. You have to set the seed line. It, that's not, I have the same map seed every time. So I don't have to set the map seed. Like, I don't have the Burun map seed. But I have the same map seed I've had the entire time. To get the same stuff off the rack all the time. Because my, my map seed is not changing. Okay, that's fine. Taco Wednesday. I'm doing. I'll beat. Yeah, I'm doing it wrong. Nice. Hey, what you what you do? Good, good. Okay, 
two hours later. Couldn't pick that up. Full plate mail again. Ah! See, whatever, whatever uh, is going into the calculation now, I'm getting a full plate mail every time. Which is way worse than a courage shield. I got a full plate mail and a mesh belt. <laughs> I didn't look last time. Was it hatchet hands and blades? I didn't look. But I got the exact same bases there again on those two right there. <clears throat> yeah, Vincent said ginger. It's like a, a ton of million different things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Um. I'm, I'm pretty sure that is accurate, but I don't. I don't know that we know for sure though exactly all the stuff that goes into it. Obviously, the map seed does 100%. Um, and. I think I think a lot of what he was saying was like it appeared that way and I do kind of agree it did it did it look like how long it took you to get to the chest and stuff um but I was thinking when I say time I was almost thinking like the time of day like on your system clock or something because I've had that sometimes where it 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 felt like and this is a thing, I'm just saying like it felt this way before, so I, I can't prove it or I don't know it for sure, but... Like where, you know, you just be farming one place for an hour and ever, the rack would give you the same thing every time, and then... All of a sudden it just would not never give you that item ever again, you know? Maybe I just started running the runs a little bit faster because I had been doing them for longer or something. Could be. Maybe. Hard to say. But yeah. But it's kind of even less for for these racks specifically. Maybe the super chest could be with how quickly you get to it or whatever. But these racks are like, oh, see, it's different now. I did something different, fellas. These racks, I'd find it hard to believe that I could get the same items multiple times because there's no way these runs are really that close together in length of time that it takes me to do them, right? I'd find that surprising anyways, but Viv says always a good day for a surprise taco. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tacos S tier uh, S tier dinner for sure. S tier. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Someone says it depends what's in your stash too. I forgot that they said they thought there was some correlation between what was in your stash and what rolled on things. Interesting. Yeah, I forgot that Ginger had said that in his video. So I guess that could be why I'm not getting a Thresher anymore, huh? If that is accurate, which I, I think he kind of showed it a little bit, right? He showed that happening, so I think it is, but hard to say for sure, but dinner tier list video. Ooh, there we go. That's about to be one of those one million view type videos right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I did that terrorized Andy. Well, I wonder if it matters what's in your stash. Would it change? Because they added in a shared stash now. Does does that affect it or is it just the your your regular stash? Must just be the regular stash, huh? Full plate mail, mesh belt again. Those are different. But the full plate mail and the mesh belt once again. So yeah, three out of four times, or no, three out of five times I got the exact same things there, so. I'd say that's out of off of two different racks, the same two items off the same racks. Yeah, that's definitely a little more than uh coincidence, right? Ooh. 
Ups. What do I do for a living before doing this? Uh, I was working in a factory running a, a CNC, like a steel cutting laser. CNC steel cutting laser. We'll see. I do remember him uh, beat saying something about that too. Yeah, loading in different chunks or something. So there, I went to a different waypoint. So that's what'll uh, cause something different to spawn down here. Maybe. I wonder what I got that other time. Did I? Didn't I go to the wrong waypoint last time, and then I uh, came down here, and that's when I got something different? Maybe. Can't remember for sure. About to find out. CAD at all. Um I, I had a program that wasn't really CAD, um, but it kind of was. Um, some people drew there was other people at the company that drew stuff up on CAD. A CAD program, but I did not. The the lasers came with software that like So the, the lasers that I worked on, and actually I, do, I did do a tube laser too, so I guess that was kind of a CAD program, more so. But the flat lasers just were in two dimensions, so it's not, it wasn't really, you know, it's not like the CAD programs. The tube laser was actually though, now that I stopped and think about that, but leather armor, splint mail. So yeah, everything was different. But yeah. Interesting type of job. Yeah, it was cool for like the first uh, year. <laughs> you, know, you know how those go, right? You know how those go. Wonder if anyone would test it out if you can get the same drops on LOD2. Yeah, so this game's it's running off of D2 Diablo 2 is running in the background. And then it just takes whatever's on here the old Diablo 2 game and then just like re like it reads the screen and re-renders it as this game so yeah the old Diablo 2 would be the same it should be anyways withering if it wasn't I would be surprised so cheers again from Newfoundland Garrett Knight welcome in uh Casey Killer said his cousin does that the one that made parts for NASA oh yeah okay I, I feel like you brought that up when I mentioned it before too yeah I was not making parts for NASA I was making random brackets and different base plates and stuff and then I ended but when I stopped working there I was actually running the tube laser like doing everything with that but it was real annoying the tube laser was a disaster I hated it the owner bought like a cheap tube laser from like this Chinese company that didn't uh didn't have anyone who worked for the company that speak English so it was real annoying and it was really cheaply made and it, everything broke on it and stuff it was Real annoying. All the time. Everything was loose constantly on it. I had to take all the parts off of it and go inside and tighten things back down because everything was loose. But but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. We're uh, about to do some dinner at my house in a little bit here. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off, get ready for dinner and all that good stuff. So mega shout out to uh, everyone supporting the channel. First of all, Wicked Plumber. As always, if you're still here, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You giga chat. Ooh, Slayer. Wicked Plumber's great. Crazy Slayer. Um, but also, Troy, Figlet, Jordan, George Walters, Fredman, Elbow Flea. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It means a lot. Honestly, as I always say, you guys that support the channel really do make it possible to keep streaming and making videos on the channel. So really, honestly, eternally grateful. Because uh, this is actually a great thing to do for a living. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, and with that being said... Peace out. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful hump day, wonderful Wednesday. And keep slaying. Who? My man's.